Breath stinks, my lord. Rich side canine coming to you with a rich side rant. Topic of this rant is going to be be careful critiquing other people's dogs. Why is that? Because, man, in the civilian world, especially in the sport world, one little critique costs your friendship for the rest of your life. Crazy. All right, let's talk about it. So, coming to you from the kennel. Some of y'all know I like to spend a nighttime uh, before I close down the kennel in the kennel with each and every dog. We sit, we talk. They tell me all your secrets. I tell them my secrets. It's actually a really good thing to do, man. So if you run a kennel, small kennel, police kennel, really important, man. Sit with the dogs, check them out, check their paws, check their ears, check their teeth. No better way to do it. Figure it all out. Make sure your dogs are staying nice and healthy. It's a great time to do it. So let's get into this rant. Be very careful. Critiquing other people's dogs. Let me tell you why. All right, I can't actually sit in this kennel because this dog's a little bit... But he's cool, but I'm not going to sit on the ground with him. So... So, uh, this looks good. You look happy. <laughs> Don't let that look deceive you. Anyway, critiquing somebody else's dog. <laughs> All right, so as for me, right, I come from the police military side of K9. Why, does that, why is that important? It's important because in the environment that I came from, right, cops, I'm, I'm telling you, I know some people won't believe this. I know this isn't the case nationwide, but in DC metro area, there's a tremendous amount of dogs. There's, there's mega agencies with a lot of dog teams, getting a lot of street bites, getting a lot of deployments. And for the most part, I know people won't believe this, but there's not that much ego in this area when it comes to canine. All the agencies, for the most part, work together. They share knowledge. They, they, they share trainers. Tremendous amount of experience with handlers and trainers in the D.C. Metro. What's that mean? It means that everybody acknowledges their dogs have weaknesses. Everybody, right? All the handlers. They will go to other agencies. They'll seek out trainers. They'll seek out their peers. Say, listen, my dog's great in apprehension, but he sucks at tracking. My dog's great in tracking, but he sucks at article search. My dog's great at article search, but he sucks at narcotic recognition. People will, they're, they're quick in the environment I came up in to tell you they're false, believe it or not, right? Because they're looking for your opinion for a solution, okay? When you go to training, if you see other people's dogs, you say, hey, man, I, I know to you it might look good, but, but off to the side, it looks like this happened, or it looks like that happened, or it looks like the dog uh, in, in, in interpreted your command this way, or the conflict is coming from behavior A, right? Guys are open to it because you want your dog to be the best it can be. You want your dog to perform at its highest level possible, right? And in order for your dog to perform at the highest level possible, leave my dog alone. Hey, 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 I know. You don't be nasty, no. You're on video. <laughs> but in order to perform at the highest level possible, you have to be willing to take critique. So, let me start, right? My retired police dog, he's a young dog, he's just five years old, we retired together, he couldn't be rehandled. I wouldn't have let him be rehandled, but it would have been dangerous. But, he's a world level dog with some serious fallacies, right? He will bite me. He's put me in the hospital twice on, on pretty severe stuff. And he's bit me before, but you know, you just put some duct tape or, or glue or something on it and move on. But he will correct me for what he deems an unfair correction from my part to him. I don't tolerate it, but it'll happen. He excels at apprehension. He will flat out crush somebody. He's 50-50 on tracking. He could be much better as a tracker. Now, he's had live tracks with apprehensions off double blind. Pursuit, bailout, unknown start, unknown direction. So he can do it. He's found multiple people that have ran. He can do it, but he's not the best at it. Article search doesn't happen. I would never let him search for an article because he's very possessive, and I'd be fighting him over a piece of evidence. That's 100%. Major fallacy. Dope work? He's incredible at dope work, but he gets too worked up on odor. So he has fallacies, right? And I'm very quick to say that. So never be afraid to address the fallacies your dog has and be open to other professionals to tell you, like, hey, your dog has this issue. Now, what's my experience in this? And first off, let me throw a caveat. I love training Border Collies. It, it, this is my new best breed, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I've trained quite a few the last month, three, on board trains. Mm -hmm. They're so easy. I, I seriously love them. All have been a little aggressive, but when you, when you cap that aggression really quick, focus on obedience, give them a task. They're, I'm telling you, this dog's even you hear the light. He's a little bit nervy. He's got some bites, but he's, I love this dog. Anyway, um, kind of, pop, 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 too pushy. Um, my experience on this, civilian sport world, 
crazy. Absolutely crazy. If you critique somebody's sport dog, my God, you would legitimately think they, they, they like caught you in their house, right? It's crazy. People get so uh, 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 attached to the fantasy that like their dog is, is the best dog in the world and nobody's dealt with the issues they've dealt with. And if you critique anything they do, it's, it's a straight up fight. It's just crazy. And um, it's really sad. It's cost me friendships, guys. It 100% has cost me friendships. When I can't bite my tongue anymore, especially if I bored the dog, right? This is important to understand. Like, if I bored your dog for long duration, and the dog's, I mean, while the dog's here, as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of my dog, right? It's your dog, but I have possession and control and ownership of the dog while he's staying in the kennel. That's kind of what the law says, right? So if I report to you, say, hey, your dog's nervy, aggressive, very unconfident, very unsure, and because of that, this is a dangerous dog. And then you get all upset, you know what I mean? And then it costs us a friendship. It's crazy, man. It's really a shame, to be honest with you. Now, that being said, who cares who's trained your dog? Honestly, who cares? Hon think about it. Who cares? It's not their dog. They trained it. Big deal. But it's not theirs. It's yours. So you're responsible for it, man. You're accountable for it. And you have to address the issues in it, right? Now put it off on... Well, this dog is trained here, this dog's trained there, this dog, who cares? It means nothing. Look at the dog in front of you. Look at the dog in front of you. Enough said. And um, small critiques, man, it cost me friendships. People will tell you, don't critique, it's not your business, don't say anything. That's weak, man. That's pathetic. You should always be open to critiquing stuff, man. You should always be open. I have hundreds of videos. Hundreds and hundreds. Clearly, I'm open to critiquing. It won't bother me. Critique away. I'm not going to take it personal, right? Just make sure you have videos to back up what you're saying. If you have a ton of opinions and no videos, then I'll, I'll digress and just move on. If you have a ton of videos and a ton of opinions, man, I'll, I'll take what you have to say to heart. It's all good. But uh, egos and canine, you know, a lot of people will scream, hashtag no ego, hashtag no canine ego. Give them some critiques on their canine, you're going to see that ego come out real quick. Trust me on that. Um, but that's it, Rich Side Canine Rant, talking about critiquing dogs. I don't know. Half of me says just avoid it because it will cost you friendship and cause you drama. The other half says, who gives a shit? Uh, if you see a valid critique, do it. Now, this is the other, uh, other thing, right? If you're going to critique, you got to be open to being critiqued. Let me explain this for a second. I have had friends in the past that will critique the hell out of me on every little thing. But they don't own a kennel. They don't train dogs. They, I mean, they, they, they do as like a hobbyist, but they don't do it professionally. They don't own a kennel. They don't train dogs. And they've never worked a dog in real life. But man, don't critique the hell out of me. And I've always taken it. I always stay with a smile. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll try that. The second I critique them, they're no longer my friend. Crazy. That's the truth, though. It's crazy. Anyway, though, Rich Side Cannot Rant. Just talking about some dog stuff. Critiquing someone else's dogs and the fallout it can cause.